so for today's video, I'm going to be redoing my Ohora for short nails video and also combining it with the acetone trick. And the acetone trick is to um, make it last longer and to prevent hair snagging. Um, so in my, my first video, like my very, very first video on YouTube, I was doing Ohora for short nails and I was really new to editing. So I think that one had the music on too loud. So I got some complaints about that. So I'm just gonna redo it and do my whole routine start to finish. Um, and these are all the things that I use. So these two things are for the acetone. And then this Ohora set is love, love, love. And I have the top coat and the Ohora Pro Stick. Pro Easy stick or something like that with the silicone tip or the cuticle thing. And these are the tools that I use. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, so I just peeled off my old set. It was the Dashing Diva with the Peter Rabbit. Um, yeah, so I just peeled it off last night. So my nails are totally messed up. And so I'm going to do what I usually do. I may actually just file. Usually I cut them down really short and the last time I cut it so short, it was hard to put the stickers on. So I'm just gonna file. And I only file to like, I, till I can't see the nail. That's the length that I like, just for every day. So I'm gonna do that and come back. Okay, so I filed them down and I like to um, not be able to like feel it when I go like this. And that's how long I know that I like them. The next thing I'm gonna do is push down my cuticles. And I really like this metal one. I wanna say it's from a brand called Japanesque. I don't know, I got it at a like trade beauty store. You know, the one where they have all the shampoos and conditioners and stuff. It was just on there. And I'm just gonna push down the cuticle. And usually my hands are wet when I do this, but Okay, so I just, I mean, you usually want to wet your hands because it makes the cuticle softer. Um, but yeah, so you kind of just scrape down your nail and it removes any of the dead skin, I guess that's on it. The things that make it not stick on well, like nail polish and gel and everything. So I'm just gonna do that and I'm also going to cut the extra skin around my fingers or the, I don't know what you call it, the cuticle. Some people cut over here. I don't usually because, I don't know. I don't wanna make a mistake. But I do cut on the side, like on this side. And that's what this is for. So I'm just gonna do that and come back. Okay, so now my next step is to buff and this is just to get any ridges out and to also smooth and roughen up at the same time your nail. Um, yeah, so what I do is use this foam block. It has, I guess it's called medium grit foam block. And I'm just gonna buff like this. And for this one, it there are clear stickers, so you do want to do a good job on this. Like you don't want to have too many like weird, I don't know if you get this, but like weird like things on your nails or like I have like one nail that's always peeling like right there. I want to buff that out and any ridges, like my thumbs always have more ridges. I think cause I peel off the sticker. I don't know, bad habit, but I peel off the sticker and I don't know, just getting older. It seems to be more ridgy for some reason. But yeah, so you wanna just do that and make it, since the, um, the stickers are clear and the gradient part is translucent, you wanna just do a nice job. Sometimes if like the lines or something don't come out with that, I do have a regular buffing block and that should do it. This one is a lot smoother than this one. So it doesn't get that gritty mess on your nail that I think helps the sticker stand. So yeah, I'm just gonna do all my nails or buff them out and come back. Okay, so after buffing, I always look at the nails. Okay, sometimes 
after you wash your nails, after you file it, right, you get like some like, I don't know, extra part that you didn't fall off. So I just go and smooth it off. Because you don't want that to interfere with the sticker later. Okay, and then also because you just washed your hands, you can do a quick like cuticle push downer thing if you feel it went back to how it was or if you want a different shape or you know because the nail stickers um, are very curved and you kind of want to match that shape so now you can open up the box I already cut it to me So the box has the stickers. And this is important. You want to use that for sure. And it has its own nail file and orange stick. So I'm going to prep my nails and wipe it with the alcohol pad. This just takes off any oils or any, you know, soap has like glycerin and ingredients in it too that you don't want okay so the stickers look like this super cute but you see how there is a gradient and i'm still gonna cut it in half even with the gradient and if you do this way i actually recommend not to pick stickers with gradients because it does make it harder especially when you have short nails the gradient is like you can hardly tell, you know? It just looks light pink and then this one looks dark. But it's okay, we're gonna do it anyways. So let's pick one that's slightly smaller, if I can. Because you can always stretch it to fit. But if it's too big, then you're gonna have to cut it because you don't want it to extend over the cuticle line or on the sides. It'll just be uncomfortable and also not last. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna stretch it out. And I'm gonna place it close to the cuticle, but not past it. And then you can always stretch it to the side. So it's still going a little over my nail. So I'm gonna do the same thing, stretch it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna do, I always try to put the tapered side on my right hand. Um, but in this case, I'm probably gonna do tapered side on this one and then switch it up and do tapered side on this one, just so that there's more variety and you can't tell that I'm you know, only using the tapered side on this side and then the rest on that. So actually, I might use the tapered side on this side since I use the tapered side on my right hand. So if it's too small, all you do is grab it and then pull it so that it reaches the end. Okay, so once you've done all your fingers, make sure you put all this away. Put it to the side and then really press it on good. And then use the silicone tip if you have this and just run it around each nail. I also check like, okay, I see a little bit of my nail. I can like pull it a little to make it reach. And then I'm just going to take my nail clipper and trim off all the excess. I go right up to the edge of my nail and just clip it off. 
It doesn't have to be super perfect because we are going to foul after we cure. But just get it as close as you can so you, you don't have to do as much work. I'm starting to think it doesn't have to be this way. Okay, and the extra step that we're going to do is the acetone. And this just helps like soften or smooth down the outer edge so that as it grows out, you get less hair pulling. Totally not necessary, but if you want to do it, it will save some time or save some hair snagging. So always use a glass dish. I used a plastic one before and the acetone like ate through it, which is not good. And if you can, use it in a ventilated area. So I'm just going to put a little. You really just need a tiny bit. So you just wet your brush. You want too much excess. And you do have to push your push the sticker down as well before you do this because you don't want the acetone to go under the sticker. You just want it to go on the top and just kind of soften it. So you can do the sign. It's hard to do. I usually do this on a flat surface, but so we can see better. Slightly run it around. I think this removes some of the gel a little bit. Just run it across the edge. And it's okay if it makes it a little less shiny because we are going to put the top coat on. I wouldn't recommend you doing this if you are not using the top coat. So I'm just going to do this process two times. And then also, I, I haven't tried this before, but maybe if you squeeze it down with this after. So this is way easier to do if you're like pressing down like this. I'm just doing it up here so you guys can see. And I'll let you know in the description if this makes it last a lot longer. So I'm all done with the two coats. I'm going to dump this out and rinse this. So now I'm ready for curing. So I'm just going to cure two times for both hands. And I always stick my thumbnail in here also. Make sure everything that's UV sensitive is put away. So I'm just going to do that and come back. So I cured it twice and now I'm just going to smooth down the edges. So that looks good. Um, now we're going to do the top coat. So the way that I do it might be a little bit different. I cap the edges first. So I'm not a cosmetologist or anything, but this is how I do it. I just run the brush along the edge. And it, oops, it dripped. So. This one's a little crooked. I'm gonna refile that one. Okay, so I'm gonna cap the edge on all the fingers first. And capping the edge just prevents it from getting that weird, like, thin edge of the nail look. And also for the shrinkage. 
all the I think all the gels kind of shrink up a little bit and that's where you get that weird um, thin at the edge look and so this just keeps it in place and then I'm gonna do a thin coat of the top coat making sure to get below the sticker by the cuticle line and on the sides Okay, so I'm going to cure this twice and do my other half and come back. Okay, so I'm done curing my top coat. I did two cures and I did an extra one for the pinkies. You know, like sometimes it's, it doesn't get on this side, so it feels a little sticky. So I just stuck my pinkies in and did one more cure. And so the last step is just to smooth out any edges that you may have. I just do a, like a quick like file around the edge. That's usually where, if anything, it is rough. And you can totally feel it, like anything that would bug you. And if any of the top coat got on your skin, uh, don't worry about it. It'll wash off in a couple days or in a couple hand washings. But yeah, so I like it. It's so nice and shiny and smooth and I don't know, can you tell that it's half a gradient? I think it's all so varied that it doesn't even matter. But yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.